Hi, my name is Heather. Um, Martha asked me to make a video about cutting out snowflakes. So I'm gonna try to do this hopefully quick and just with no photographer. So um, anyways, first, all you're gonna need are um, pieces of white blank paper um, and scissors, which I have here. Okay, everybody has scissors, right? <laughs> okay. And I'm pointing this down so that you can see. Um, I started by cutting um, a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of paper into two equal halves. And then um, what you do is you just make a square out of them. You want to always start with a square. And always make sure you're folding straight. So you, you just turn one corner down like this so that you have um, whatever shape this is. <laughs> and you cut off the extra parts edge here so that you have a triangle. And when you unfold it, you've got a square. I think everybody knows how to do that, right? Um, so to make a, to fold a snowflake the right way, you have to start with a square and then you fold it over in half so that you've got a rectangle. And you want to make sure it's a really well creased fold. And then you're going to want to fold this in thirds. But um, the easy way to figure out how to fold it in thirds is you fold the rectangle in half once. And this isn't a fold you're gonna keep, so usually I just mark, you're just trying to find the center of the rectangle. So I just fold like the, I just crease the little part here by the fold. And then you're gonna wanna turn the paper and fold one end in towards the center so that your edge touches that center line and make sure it's straight. And then you can fold the whole way across, or I just, again, make a crease, and the upper side of that edge, and I'll show you why in a, li in a little bit. But see, here's the center of the paper, and here's like a quarter, three quarters or a quarter. So then you take the, f the paper with the fold facing you, and you fold it over, at the center so that your point is at the center and then so that the top corner touches the the fold or the crease on the other side and you just fold that across like that. I don't know if you can tell. So it looks like this. There's your center and I folded it so that this edge touches that little crease which is three quarters of the way. Like that. And then you turn it over and you fold this, you're going to fold this corner up to go right along this crease. Still making sure that it's even. And this isn't perfect, but <laughs> you have to just keep working on it. Okay, so now, now I have a piece that looks like this and it's kind of an accordion folding thing. Now I'm going to take one side and fold it over this way and then the other side will be folded over that way. So it'll be like this again. I'll do that now. You always want to make sure your edges are straight because you'll be cutting on the edges and and if you aren't cutting straight, all your edges aren't going to be easily accessible. So not all your cuts will come out even. It's hard to explain this. Alright, so now I have a piece that looks like this. Like a little ice cream cone. And as you can see, there's that edge right there, 
and that edge. I'm just going to cut from here over to there. So now I have a triangle. And since I want to make sure that every folded edge um, is as close to the edge as possible, like if you have the paper and it's folded up in here and you cut on this edge, you're going to get more of this. You're not going to get as much of this fold. Don't know if that makes sense. So I often just fold it out. So now it's just an accordion fold. It's the same folds, you just um, turn them the other way. All right, and always while you do this, you have to make sure your edges are really creased. So usually I take the hard edges of some scissors and crease it down really well. And then you just cut from there. All you have to do is remember that this is your center you can cut some of that away, but the more you cut away, the um, less connection there is. And that these edges are all folds. Sorry. <laughs> and this is your top. And you can pretty much do whatever you want. And I didn't really have an idea in mind. Don't really, don't try to do something special necessarily or, or a pattern because I mean, you can, but it's more difficult and it's kind of complicated. And the more you work on it, the more you might want to do that. But um, I usually just try to think about if I want to have curvy lines or circles or diamonds or pointy lines. Um, so you just cut in different ways. And you want to you wanna think about the shapes that you're cutting out, not the shapes that you're trying to get. You want to cut away blank space. And I don't know how else to instruct on this. <laughs> See right now I've got this. This is still a fold here. And this is all folded. Um, I think I'll turn it over. There's no real right way to hold it because it's whatever is comfortable for you. And I'm not being as exact as I normally would be. Try not to cut too far. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to make your line smooth, but I think I'm going to the more you cut away, the more the daintier it will look when you unfold it. Okay, so I cut all the way up to here. I want to leave a little bit. You can you can cut from either side, like you can start from the top and the top edges here and work down or from the point and work up. I should do this quicker. And you'll figure some of this stuff out, shortcuts and stuff. Okay. All right, let's go with this. I've got this shape. No idea what it'll look like. So I'm just going to unfold it, and there's no real trick to that. I just kind of unbend it or bend it the opposite way as I unfold. Huh. 
some of the folds stayed together. Okay, and the last fold to undo is this. So, there's a snowflake. Looks better far away. <laughs> but, there you go. Hope that helps.